Hello everyone, Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts, and welcome back to another uh, quick craft room moving update video. So um, it's less echoey, so that's a good thing. And I'm out here just kind of working on some stuff. I've been busy um, putting together all of my de-stash packs and stuff of different fabrics and linens and things like that. And so um, I kind of stopped on that so I could focus again on getting, I'm not sure why I just said focus so weird, that was odd. Anyway. So I could focus on getting um, more moved in now that Steve's here and my muscles back. So um, kind of what I have going on, this table is not centered right now. It's just because we keep moving it in out of the way and it's real easy to move and I love it that it's on casters. So just kind of a little shot over here. Ignore all the peripheral stuff at the moment. My lovely makeshift curtain until I get my blinds um, put up. So the cart is where it's going to be. I've already explained where that, what's going to be on that. And then this is a dresser and I've kind of started putting some of the dyes in, but not everything. So the top has now become a little bit of a catch-all, but that's okay. And we got this in here today, my beloved um, ombre dresser. I love this baby so much. And for those who are new to my channel and did not um, see the video on this, which was, oh my goodness, four years ago now, I think. This was a dresser I got from Ikea and it was multi, or not Ikea, I'm sorry, um, Hobby Lobby. And it was each of the drawers, the, the, um, the dresser unit itself was black and all the drawers were like different primary colors. And it was in the clearance section because there was a piece broke off the back, but my um, husband was able to fix it. So I got it for a really good price. And one of my best friends, Mindy, came over and she helped me do this ombre on it. And I love it so much. About half the stuff in those drawers is going to be de-stashed. So that will be another project when I'm um, not feeling like, you know, unboxing and putting things away and stuff. So, and then here's my latest edition, my birthday week present from my husband. So in my video from yesterday, I had um, talked about... Um, you know, wanting to store my vintage linens and stuff. And I'm going to do that. But I'm also thinking about maybe saving some of the drawer space to put maybe some of my, um, you know, like maybe, maybe because most of my paper is going to be upstairs, as I've mentioned before. So, but I do want to have a variety of my vintage ephemera, um, most of that down here if I can. And then um, like my coffee dye papers and stuff. Now I haven't measured this. I don't know if, oh, I guess I do need to kind of wipe out a little bit. I haven't measured this, but this looks like it's probably close to eight and a half. Like it'll hold eight and a half by 11 paper pretty close. So I'll test it when I get some paper out here. And maybe save some of these. Maybe like, you know, I don't know, nine or so for paper and stuff. But then I also, when I get these emptied, I'll also have more space. These aren't the deepest drawers, and that's okay. That's, that's just the style of the dresser, and I love that. But I have stuff like this in here, and all but the purple is going to be, this is part of, part of my d stash stuff. This is a lot of Moni Gabby stuff that I purchased, and then this is design team stuff. I always kept that separate. So this is all stuff that I paid for myself um, at different CK conventions and stuff. And so I just don't craft with this kind of stuff anymore. I used to, mostly when my daughter was still really in into you know when she was in middle school her favorite colors were kind of like the neon you know hot like the hot pink and the blues and the teals and stuff and so I don't really make page layouts and stuff like that of her anymore and she doesn't want to craft with this stuff either this stuff is great when I do the desash video I'll talk more about it but like this kind of stuff obviously you know obviously the lavendery purple stuff is going to stay with me but just all kinds of really fun goodies in here so I'll be going through that and I've got some like clean stuff from Prima and I have some from Marion Smith this these have not been opened since we before since we moved I don't know what's in here in all these drawers um I haven't opened these <laughs> since we moved from Oregon to Florida so that's why the drawers are a little bit sticky and then I have uh some of my wood stamps through here through this section down here in the bottom I have more stuff so I'll be de-stashing that but that'll be great for like some of my linens and stuff too maybe even some of my paper so we'll kind of see it's going to be a combination of things in each of these and that's you know that's what I like so over here and as you know it's always an ever evolving process it's just kind of storage and things just as my crafting needs change which happens for all of us so so I moved this to the center well Steve did because it was bugging me being in the corner it felt very heavy and I don't know why and I just didn't like it so it's in the center which is perfect and then we're going to put I'm not sure which side is going to be which we're going to put my um one my four set of uh, card uh, vintage card. It's not really a card catalog. It's the kind where you, I'll show you guys. Um, anyway, I got that for our 10 year anniversary present. My was my, an, um, 
we had our 10 year anniversary July 19th and Steve surprised me and got me that. So that's going to go on one side and then my post office boxes will go on the other and then I'll be able to put a few other things on top of those to kind of like for decor slash storage. So, and I'm not really too concerned about having something fairly close to these. I don't particularly plan on you know, maybe reaching down in the far bottom corner to put something. I mean, that's a lot of storage space, you guys. And I have a lot of um, of the card catalogs and different, you know, the industrial drawers and stuff. I have a lot of little drawers and flat files and stuff. So I'm not too worried about maybe not having as easy of access down there. Um, so that I'm, I'm okay with that because it's important to me to have those pieces in my room because um, this downstairs room anyway, because I love them. And I really, want, I really want to have my most favorite pieces in here. Because this is where I'll be crafting for the most part. I mean, I'll be doing stuff upstairs too. <clears throat> it's not going to be a storage room. It's just going to hold my other supplies that won't fit up here. So as far as my paper wall, I've had a few um, questions about that. It's the Ikea Calyx um, units. And then it has the it's like the cubes. You can get them like six or nine or I think even a... Six, nine, and there's another set. I can't remember the other size. Anyway, and then it holds the We Are Memory Keeper paper trays. So my papers are going to go in there. And that's, by papers, I mean like all of my cardstock, my solids, all of my printed, all my paper pads, individual sheets of like um, open stock paper from like the, you know, companies. The stuff like you get from the craft stores and that you can buy online and stuff. So most of that paper is going to be upstairs. I will, of course, have a lot of my vintage papers and ephemeris because I have a lot, but I'm going to try to keep a, a good selection of variety down here just for ease of when I'm crafting. Not that it's so far to go out the door and go up the stairs to my upstairs room, but, you know, convenience, especially if I'm in the middle of doing a tutorial or doing a live or something or you know, Skype craft with my girlfriends or something. Sometimes you just want to have stuff at the ready. So I want to have a good sampling of those types of items down here. So some, like I said, will probably be stored in this somehow. And then some is going to be stored in here. Now, ignore all this. This is just stuff I'm trying to still clean up out of here. I just been shoving some extra trash bags and whatnot. Um, so what I did, now I'm not saying this is how it's going to stay, but just I wanted to give myself a little bit of a visual. Let me get this extra stuff out of here so it's not so distracting. So I have some of uh, like, you know, vintage laces that I've purchased off on eBay and thrifted and stuff like that. And so these are um, on here. So I was thinking, you know, I thought about displaying this stuff in here. Ah, if I can grab it. I'm not left-handed, so it's hard for me to do so with my left hand. Look at that really cool card. Clara Cow. I get my hand out of the way. Boy, I tell you what, I if I ever had to not have a right hand anymore, I'd kind of be in trouble. Isn't that cool? So I have that kind of sitting there. Because I want this stuff to be, you know, I want this space to be functional for storing things. But I also want it to be decorative and cute because that's what I like. I like my rooms to kind of look like they're, um, like, you know, a vintage shop or something. This is really cool. I haven't even taken this off look at the book. But I didn't know she was going to wrap this on this really cool old leather mini book. I don't know what it says. Let me look at it. Oh, say, oh, it's a little uh, bank book. It says savings department. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but, and then it's the back and there are some pages inside. I'll try to open it up here so we can take a quick peek. See, Ooh. cause I've been washing the other linens and stuff, but that came with this, this order, but isn't that cool? I thought that was really neat. Oops. And so I thought about just kind of like sticking, you know, of course this is falling down now cause it's, you know, I'm trying to film. And then, um, you know, just kind of sticking stuff in there. I think it looks kind of cute. I just stuck this tissue paper that she had it wrapped in. I just stuck it in there for now. And then, like, I have these little pieces here that aren't on anything, but they're, like, vintage um, millinery type stuff. I'll have that probably arranged a little bit better. But that's just kind of a visual. Let me get this out of here. That doesn't look so good right there. So I just kind of think, you know, like, having, you know, little bits of my laces and things like that in here, maybe having a little bit of my few of my hankies kind of stacked in there, some of my, my vintage ephemera in there, and some of my um, other tools. And I don't know, just kind of making it look like it's, you know, it's hard to see what that's, those stupid garbage bags right there. But that's kind of the vibe I was going for. I think that looks really cool. Now, of course, I'd have more than just three in here, but that's just what I had handy. But I think it looks really neat. I like that. So that's kind of the plan for today. And then some of my storage things I'm going to have out for decoration and um, this is uh 
an old bread box that I thrifted. Well, I got from a gal. She's local, but she also sells on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and she also has a Facebook group. And um, I think she's just local only. I don't think she would... Her listings never say that she does PayPal or will ship or anything. But this is really cool old bread box. I have, an, I have a couple other ones. And hello, you can see me kind of sort of in there. And I just have my, some inks in there right now because I was doing a, um, I did a video from the craft retreat. Oh, I need to get those edited and upload. I keep forgetting from the retreat I went on a couple weeks ago. And this is um, one of my gifts from my secret sister from that trip. And I filmed all this stuff too. So you'll see that. And when I get to those, I should do those tonight. So anyway, these, I like to get these kind of things because I like to store like um, all my, you know, fabric bits, like my little snippets that are left or um, just, you know, whatever, all kinds of things that I used to craft with, like maybe my paper scraps or something. And I have these kind of, you know, displayed around my craft room. And it's that vintage look that I love so much, but it's also storage. So when I get more impact, you'll see a lot of these kinds of things that I've been collecting for quite some time. You know, like I said, for the past couple decades or more. So um, that's that. Oh, here are some fairly new items to me. I also love to collect... Um, purple vintage tins and not like anything a specific type not just you know like you know um like powders and beauty stuff or whether it be cookies or coffee it doesn't it doesn't matter what it is i just love to collect purple vintage tins i just love that so this one i don't know really how old this one is i just got this one in from ebay i thought that was really cute i love that and then here's another one these came in separate people but they came in the same day isn't that cool so i haven't been doing a lot of um, you know, like haul videos or thrifting videos when I get little things like this in because I just trying to focus more on my room videos and stuff right now. And I'm also working on some crafty stuff in between. I promise you I am. But that was really cool. So these are things, you know, I can also make functional and store stuff in but have it displayed. And it's just there for now. It's this, that's not where it's going to stay. These are some other goodies for my secret sister. So I just put it there for now so it didn't get broken. And I'm pretty excited. So my light socket or my electrical outlet is here. I need to order my plates. I keep forgetting because I um, want to get some kind of custom ones. And they sell those surge protectors that are flat like this that go behind cabinetry and furniture and stuff. So I'm going to get one of those for there. And then um, possibly, possibly one for here too because I don't know exactly what I'm going to stack on here yet. But I definitely don't want to block my outlets. That's very important that I have access to those. I'll probably get about four of the flat ones because I have one down here I'm going to need two and then also up here because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put in the middle like my I have my vagabond here and then once my room is pretty much unpacked then I'll get my cameo out and then my other die cut machines and kind of put them up there and if I don't like how it looks with all of them up there I'll probably I'll take them down and maybe stack them on that cart because I'll be able to get to this stuff easily or maybe in one of the bottom drawers because I don't want it to look like you know like when you walk into um like Target or Walmart or whatever and you go like to the home section and they have like all the blenders on display and the coffee makers I mean I don't want it to look like that so much but um you know I want it to look pretty and cute and stuff and I love the vagabond I love that look and it's a Timmy thing I think my cam would be pretty sitting now I want to make a cover I'm going to teach myself how to um, make one of those by some watching some YouTube videos. So that'll be something down the road. I will share with all of you. It'll be like a slow stitchy cameo cover. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Still thinking about my stamp storage. I love this cart. I will not sell this cart because even if I don't use it down here, I can use it upstairs. Um, I love it. It's nice deep wells and stuff. So I, I, I'm still thinking about how I want to do my stamp storage. So for now, they're going to stay in that cart until I decide something better. And then my table, as I've said a thousand times, is going to go here. And I think that's pretty much it for an update right now. I'm getting close to my 15 minute mark. That's the max I want to make, the, make these. So I'm getting ready to go into the garage and clean out my... Um, Card ca my card my I don't want to call it a card catalog but that's what I'll call it until I look it up to see the proper names I forget and then my post office boxes I might set up my camera my video actual video camera on my little mini tripod better grab it now while I'm thinking about it and then um, film that because I know some some of you like to watch those types of process videos like when I put my chair together and stuff like that and when I've been painting things so I might set that up and do that um, and put it to music and kind of go from there so. I'm going to go ahead and get that done because Steve told me that he would um, get those in place for me today in the rooms, the those two items I mentioned, and that I can kind of start unpacking some of the totes and getting those things moved into all these 
all these storage pieces that I have and it's going to be good. So, um, and tomorrow is my actual birthday. So I won't be doing anything tomorrow because I've been told that, that I have plans all day with um, the family. I'm really excited. Um, I kind of know what's going on with it, but I'll, I'll tell about that later because, oh, I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes and I'm almost there. I'll see you guys next time. Happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting. Love you guys. Bye.